Happy beautiful day. It's seven life lessons from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Who is Ronnie O'Sullivan? He's only six times snooker world champion. And over the next few minutes, I'm going to share some life lessons that I have learned from working with him that I believe if you apply those things to your life, your life will move forwards in a much better direction. So we're going to look at mastery. We're going to look at energy. We're going to look at fight. We're going to look at courage, which is having the heart, practice, obsession, and keep growing. Are you ready to keep growing? Pete Cohen, keep going. That's one of what's one of my clients used to say to me. And as far as my clients, I work with Ronnie uh, for a couple of years. I started working with him back in 2002. He won the world title for the second time, and it was an awesome experience. There's nothing better than working with someone who wants to get better, someone who is talented and someone who wants to advance. And I believe that that's you and that's why you're watching this. You can do a much deeper dive into the story of Ronnie because I've recorded a number of podcasts with him and recently we did an interview and there's the YouTube video on that that you can watch at the end. Uh, I will point you in the direction to go and listen to that and make sure you, you, you watch the whole thing because you can learn so much. You know, success in life always leaves clues. And I don't know if you ever went to school. I did. It wasn't the best thing I ever did. But there was one of the messages that we were given at school, which was don't copy. You know, do you remember? Don't look to your left. Don't look to your right. Don't look at what other people are doing. Personally, I think it is a good idea. If someone has success in life or in sport or in business, find out how and copy them. This is one of the most successful things that you can do. And when we look at the first thing that we can learn from Ronnie, it's mastery. So my, there's a book by a guy called Malcolm Gladwell, and he talks about 10,000 hours of practicing something to become really good at it. And there's no question about it. When you look at what Ronnie O'Sullivan has done, you will see that he has practiced. And mastery really seems to be something that is frowned upon in society today. I think people think it's a bit strange if you're going to work at something, if you're going to improve and get better. But ultimately, we know that the only way to achieve and get better is to master your art. I remember being with Ronnie uh, with some students and one of the students said, Ronnie, you're just really lucky because you're just really talented. And Ronnie got quite upset about that, but he didn't show it to, to the student. He just said to me afterwards, does that person realize just how many minutes, just how many hours, just how many days, just how many weeks, how many months, how many years I've practiced my art? And also with mastery, what Ronnie did is he looked at some of the other masters. He looked at the science. He looked at the real technical side of the game because he wanted to get better. And I think it's exactly the same in life. There is a science to living a happy and successful life. It's just whether you actually want to do the work. So mastery is something you can apply to your life. The biggest challenge we face with that is often having to do things that we often don't necessarily see the immediate gain or the fact that we often don't really feel like doing some of the things that we need to do. Success isn't an accident. It's really come about from mastery. So number two, energy. So <laughs> energy is really all about your ability to do what it is that you need to do. And for those of you that ever follow me on Instagram, you'll often hear me talking about my daily detox, every day sweating. And I learned this from Ronnie. But what Ronnie learned from me was about getting the edge. Because I said to him one day, I said, Ronnie, look at all of the other players. Look at what they're doing and look at what they're not doing. Because I bet they are not exercising hard. I bet they're not looking to get the edge in all different areas so that when they go out to compete, they're ready. They're in a better shape than you. And something triggered in Ronnie's head that he really started getting into exercise and really got into running and became superiorly fit to everyone else. So he's got the advantage. If you want to get the, the edge in your own life, you definitely need to make your energy a priority. The challenge with all of this is that we get energy from doing things that we often, once again, don't feel like doing. Look, your body is designed to do one thing and one thing only. It is designed to move. And Ronnie worked this out that every cell of your body is charged by you moving. So get into the daily detox every single day. Just sweat. 
Detox, don't retox. Number three, the fight. Look, life is a fight. Every single day we're fighting to put our best foot forwards. You can understand that, right? The fight starts pretty much every single day when our alarm goes off, or if you're one of those people that wakes up before the alarm goes off. What's great about Ronnie is that he's had his own demons, as we all do. He's had a challenging life, like many people have. His dad was in prison for life when Ronnie was just a young boy. Ronnie's had this being pulled towards a life of vice, sex, drugs, alcohol, all of these things that when you're in the spotlight, when you have fame and you have fortune, all of these things that can tempt you away from getting better. We're all tempted every single day. But what I love about Ronnie is he has decided to fight and to win the fight. And he's a great example uh, to all of us. Number four, courage. Well, do you know what that word means, the word courage? It actually comes from the French word of having the heart, having the courage to step forwards, having the courage to face adversity, having the courage to be shot down, but having the courage to keep going no matter what. What a great example of someone who's won the world title six times because he's always had this desire to get better. What about you? Where in your life could you be more courageous in taking action? It's just a thought, but give it some thought because the easiest thing to do with any of this information is to do nothing and just be like a sheep. Uh, number five, practice. So you've probably heard practice, practice, practice. Practice makes permanent. Practice makes what? Practice makes you better. What in your life do you think you need to practice? So for Ronnie, it wasn't just about practicing on the table for hours and hours and hours so that when he went out to play, he could perform. It was about practicing with exercise, practicing eating well, practicing filling his mind with personal development. That's something else that he's very interested in doing. Realizing that life is a competitive sport. And once you start to do these things, your life can change beyond anything that you can possibly imagine. Number six, obsession. I love this. The magnificent obsession. A lot of people don't like this word. A lot of people, there's some negative association to this word. But for me, that word obsession means there's just something that you've got to do. Right? We know that what drives most people to change is they're not happy where they are. There's some form of dissatisfaction. They're uncomfortable with the situation and they want to move away from that. But once people get comfortable, people tend to go back to what they know. People like Ronnie has got a magnificent obsession to be the very best that he can be. And you can have that as well. That is what we call being inspired. Being inspired about what is possible. If you look at the home page of my YouTube page, you can actually see that you can actually download a copy of my book, Inspirators, absolutely free. And that is about you becoming inspired. You starting to see your life as a movie where you're the writer, the director, the producer, the actor. You can choose your supporting cast. And number seven for Ronnie, it's to keep growing. Keep growing. Why? In the interview I did with Ronnie, he said, look, if you're standing still, you're going backwards. In life, you're either growing or you're... That's how I look at it. And if you look at the natural state of nature, the natural state of the garden, it is decay. It is weeds. We have to go to work on growing and getting better. We don't have to, but if we don't, we become a victim of the natural flow of life. And that's one of the reasons I admire Ronnie so much is that he's desired to take his life and do something with it. So he's proud of who he is and what he's achieved. I think when you watch the video with Ronnie, the interview, please watch it to the end because of the great stuff there. One of the things I really do admire about him is the fact that he's choosing to live life on his terms. In fact, recently he played in a competition where he painted his nails pink. Why? Well, he wants to raise awareness uh, for breast cancer. But most people wouldn't do things like that. Most people would be too self-conscious of what other people would think. What he's decided to do is to be the very best version of himself and live life on his terms. So, 
What's your biggest takeaway from the seven life lessons from Ronnie O'Sullivan? Remember, success always leaves clues. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you watch uh, the interview with Ronnie. It's really fascinating. I'm sure you'll really uh, enjoy it. And you know what? He's only one world championship away from winning it for the seventh time. There's only one other person that's done it. And then the eighth, well, he'll become the greatest player of all time. You can become the greatest player of all time in your own life. Thank you so much for watching. Let's go do some magic. Not now, but right now.